Digital Transformation IoT, small connected objects that are transforming marketing approaches, logistics, but also entire industries and sectors of activity. Placed in a car, they measure one's behavior behind the wheel, good or bad, and provide the basis for pay-how-you-drive services offering discounts, or not, on insurance premiums. Installed in one's home, they provide better prevention and early warning services. The whole insurance sector has been impacted. This trade can be reinvented with data, and the sector can be opened up to other players like car manufacturers, for example, thanks to their own control over data collection, but also GAFA with home automation terminals. What is the digital transformation of businesses? Customer experience. First and foremost, the digital transformation of businesses involves rethinking consumers' experience. Consumers are now connected, they have morphed, they no longer have the same needs, expectations or purchasing habits, and marketing must evolve from a product-driven approach to a customer experience approach. CX is about making customers' journey across channels more fluid. Renault has designed the customer journey so that when a customer returns to the brand's website, the vehicle they want and the desired configuration, this need expressed online, is identified and discussed with the dealership sales representative. CX is about optimizing the conversion funnel, which much take visitors on a website up to the point of purchase, letting them browse at their own pace, leveraging the resources offered by inbound marketing without subjecting them to an overly pushy advertising or emailing policy, nowadays often seen as excessively intrusive. The traces we leave online via social networks, our keyboards recorded in search engines, our browsing history, and our geolocation all make it possible to define our digital identity using big data approaches. Gone are the days of customer segmentation using socio-demographic data. We are now digital individuals addressed by targeted advertising and behavioral marketing strategies. Digital technology has gone beyond its technological function. It is now seen as a marketing lever to humanize customer relations. After unlimited Wi-Fi and then physical kiosks to make orders, which allowed for upselling and a 20% increase in the average order value, McDonald's ventured into customer experience personalization, calling customers by their first name and no longer calling out order numbers. But the customer experience also involves a company actively monitoring social media and developing social listening. Orange, for instance, has created its own social room, a room fitted with 18 conversational screens to get regular feedback on its social resonance, to update its internal teams daily about the concerns of influencers, journalists, bloggers, etc., and about the themes of interest to the brand's audiences, and to create affinity content. But CX is also about becoming a conversational brand, like IKEA, which has produced a set of 365 advertisements so that its TV campaigns and visits to its website can be different and impactful every day. Service-Oriented Thinking – Digitizing the Product or Service The digital transformation of companies also entails service-oriented thinking. Why did Nike develop a free sports coaching app, downloadable on smartphones? The service nurtures a preference for the brand by fostering the loyalty of customers who have now become users. It also makes it possible to collect data to better understand customers' profiles and to gain greater insight and relevance and the competition. Tested on a freemium basis, it can be developed and offered as a premium version. Service-oriented thinking also involves digitizing the product. La Roche-Posay has launched a connected patch to measure UV exposure. Yves Saint Laurent offers 360-degree selfies in store. But for all these service offers, it takes a lot of experimenting to strike the right balance between value-added services, useless gadgets, and advertising harassment. Digitizing processes. Finally, the digital transformation of companies involves them digitizing part of their production processes. To digitize processes is to improve operational performance. For example, Predictive maintenance is made possible by sensors fitted on machines. Chatbots can automate and optimize after-sales service. But this also involves using technology to reconfigure or optimize supply chains. Walmart, for example, has developed a blockchain in China for the traceability of pork meat. The blockchain has reduced the time needed to trace the origin of products from several days to a few minutes, making it possible to react more quickly if contaminated products are discovered.
How can these digital transformation projects be carried out? Often, under the leadership of a chief digital officer, a digital transformation manager whose role is to preach, steer, and accelerate the transformation. Through change management projects where the challenges are more human than technological, anchored in changes in professional roles, and a culture of agility and transversality.